I'll be with you in one second. Brian Danielson, a little birdie told me he didn't want to show up tonight, and I think I know the real reason why. The real reason why is because you're terrified of me. And I don't blame you, but after what I did to your boy, Willie Reeves, I'd be scared too. Cause I'm a bad, bad man. And that's why in a week from now, I'm gonna be a four time, four time, four time, four, 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 four time beautiful dynamite diamond ring champion. And I will still be the holder of the grandest prize of them all, that triple. Now, Richard, these people seem to really like you around here, huh? You know, Ricky, they talk about you like you're some underutilized god of professional wrestling. And trust me, you are very talented, you really are. But you want to know the truth, bud? Here's the truth. Absolute. Stop chanting, Tony. The truth is, in comparison to me, you're the absolute drizzling shits. Or should I say, you're a Rudy Poo? Considering the fact that you've stolen literally everything else from that guy. Because no offense, Richard, you ain't nothing more than a dollar store Dwayne. So you know what I'm gonna start calling you, bud? I'm gonna start calling you the pebble, okay? And here's what's gonna happen next week in the main event at Dynamite, little pebble. put you in my pocket. I'm gonna hop in my brand new Tycon GTS Porsche, cause unlike all these simple-minded humanoids, I'm actually rich and not a complete loser. I'm gonna drive you to the nearest body of water. I'm gonna take you out of my pocket, Pebble, and I am going to skip your scrawny little pigeon toad ass all the way back to Billy Corgan's NWA so you can wrestle on YouTube where you belong. Facts don't care about your feelings, Texas. So, I don't care that you're absolute because I am a generational talent and my reign of terror has just begun. Well, Maxi Pad, I think it's pretty. I should have expected a fifth rate Roddy Piper. I should have expected a fifth rate Roddy Piper wannabe to come out here and try to steal the spotlight. Oh, you trashed the city. Oh, you trash the people. Hey, how much more stick do you got? Because the low-hanging fruit is running dry, partner. Now, every single week, you come out here, you smell like paint thinner and ass. You spray tan, you spray tan your eczema. If you took your shirt off, your back would look like you laid in an ant pile for seven hours. You've got some crappy shoes on. It's never ironed. The shirt is too small. 
saw the shitty scarf and the terrible ass haircut, and you think that you're better than Juan? Give me a break. Everything about you screams cheap. The cheap suits, the cheap shoes, the cheap heat. Oh my God, and you are our new AEW champion, huh? Well, here's the thing. With that AEW championship comes a big responsibility that you know nothing about. The difference between you and me is that when these people got behind me, I gave them a reason to keep going. When they put faith in you, you let them down. When Regal believed in you, you let him down. But brother, when it comes to Ricky, I deliver on time, every time, every night, every week, every month. And you can take your little ass to Greece for three months because, oh, you didn't get paid enough. Because, oh, you got out politics by somebody smarter than you. But the fact remains is that I've been here busting my ass. You want to talk about responsibility? Let's talk about the fact that you avoid responsibility. You avoid any type of pressure. I show up to signed meet and greets where you, you don't care. You just blow it off because, hey, everybody hates Max, so he has nothing to lose, right? Yeah, guess what, buddy? There comes a lot of responsibility when it comes to people actually liking you. And besides your, your nose being a lot darker than the rest of your body, me, on the other hand, I live with dignity, I live with respect. You know nothing about that. When I lived in my car in South Austin, guess what I was doing? I was grinding. I knew the responsibility of taking care of myself. When it comes to that woman right there, it's my responsibility to get her a car, to get her a house. And you think because you pay people, because you kiss ass, that Maxwell, I'm better than you, that you can get whatever you want. Please give me a break. <laughs> Next week is a big deal because I'm putting up and I'm shutting you up for once in your miserable, narcissistic, little punk-ass life. You don't deserve this, but I do. YouTube, guess what? Been there, did that, busted my ass to get here. Never needed a name to make it right here. And I don't need a name to beat your little ass. I am Ricky Starks. I'm gonna stand 10 toes down right now. Next week, I'm smacking the mall off your neck. I'm stomping a asshole right into you. And I'm taking that title. that you never had done in your life. I'm going to take the responsibility off your plate, little boy. Oh, of course. MJF, the AEW World Champion, never met a low road that he would not take. And hopefully, Hopefully, we are only one week from the end of the era, but he is sizing up Starks with that dynamite diamond ring. It's on his right hand. You're right. It's gonna right on the... It's going to drop Starks here. Oh, oh the swing and the miss. The spear connects! What impact right there. Will this be the scene one week from tonight? Shoes off a of match. <laughs> what the hell? Ricky Starks heading into Dallas, heading into winter is coming one week from tonight with plenty of momentum. Can he take everything away from Maxwell Jacob Friedman?